This video is sponsored by FlexiSpot. This is a pig. Probably the most adorable mob in Minecraft history. No offense, Broderick. But sadly, pigs like this often live all alone out in the wild. Just looking for some friends. That kind of sounds like me. So today, I'm gonna round up all the pigs in my world and build them a gigantic pig city. All in Minecraft hardcore. No longer shall you feel sad and rejected. Farzee's gotcha. On we go. Side note, I am kind of lost right now. Where is my nether portal? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's go time. So the first step to making any amazing city is to talk to your local government. But this is Minecraft. So instead, fly around and find a cool location to build at. And you know what? I kind of like right down here. Excuse me, everybody. You need to leave. I'm building a city. Please go away. Yeah, I should probably sleep first. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, building cities are so much fun. Okay, daylight. Yeah. Let's begin the terraforming. Well, this is an interesting image. Stacking this paper and mining these diamonds. My hardcore world is literally the finest. Ah, my hand is cramping up right now. I hate spam clicking. It hurts so much. But I will stay strong for the pigs. And the verdict is a nice open piece of land. Excuse me, good sir. What do you think about the place? I think he likes it. Yeah. Now, the whole point of making this big flat area is so I can make a giant glass dome. Long story short, every time I make a mob city, I make it inside of a dome so the mobs cannot escape. Kind of like this LA city over here. Hello? Does anybody still live here? Ah, there we are. Hello, sir. Okay, see you later. Now, I definitely want my pig friends to have a lot of space. We're gonna make a gigantic dome. I told you guys, farzy has got you covered. Oh, I think they hate me. Child, where are your parents? Ah, twins. Oh, this is so stressful. Okay, I think that'll be big enough. Yeah, that's good. For the love of Minecraft, come on. Ah, oh my God. Oh, deep breaths, Farzy. Deep breaths. And as I decompress all the stress away, please subscribe and hit the bell. Okay, I am calm again. But with the outline out of the way, let's go get some glass and build this thing into a real dome. Oh my gosh, the pig is next to my pink bed. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. Okay, so I'm fairly confident I don't have a lot of glass in here. Yep, I was correct. Because if anybody knows Farzy, you'll know that he never has enough materials for his builds. It's like my one curse. So I did what any normal Minecraft player would do. I flew to a desert, spent about 30 minutes collecting sand by hand, only to realize, oh my gosh, wait, I literally have a sand farm. Dude, I'm so stupid. I could have just saved myself so much time. Stupid bunny, I blame you. Come here. Yeah, I kind of feel bad now. Okay, here we are. So I simply place some sand on the machine. I flick the lever and the sand duplicates infinitely. And we hop inside. Oh yeah, that is much more like it. And now we just wait for the machine to do its thing. I don't know why I just did that. And now we take all this sand to my super smelter. There we are. And watch the magic unfold. I think I need some friends. So let's break these grass blocks and replace them with some beautiful clear glass. And we raise it up a little bit and we slowly start to round off the top. Behold, the pig dome, aka the swine sphere, or the bacon bubble. Oh, I like the bacon bubble the best. Do you think bacon is like a swear word for pigs? Bacon. I don't think he liked that. Okay, point taken. But now that we have the dome all set up, we can now do the fun part, making the actual city. Let's get to planning. So my hilarious idea was to put all these gross, muddy pigs into a super fancy city. I don't know, just for comedic effect. First, I tried making a really detailed floor plan so I could see how the city was gonna look. But then I got bored and started drawing a pig instead. His name is Porkers. Okay, I didn't get very far with the whiteboard. So let's try making a floor plan using wool blocks. And... Ah, Porkers! Why can't you escape my mind? Side note, you can enchant shears? Yeah, Farzee, stay focused. Let's try this again. So I went back to an old trick of mine. When I built my other mob cities, I used a complex system of color-coded wool to figure out where things are gonna go. So red can be like the main buildings, blue can be the houses, green is for nature and decorations, and pink is for the roads. All right, I think the plan is all set. Nice. Oh, it's the city workers. Hey, buddy, I promise I have the right permits to build here. Stupid government paperwork. Nobody can stop Farzy, except for Farzy himself. 
Now, before I actually started making the city, I hopped into a separate creative mode world so I could test out what blocks to use. Okay, pigs are pink. So I'm thinking pink wool, pink terracotta, pink concrete. You guys get the theme here. Okay, back to the hardcore world. So let's take some of these blocks and make our first building as like a test. And if it comes out good, we can then make some more. And for the first building, we're going to make a pig office. That way, the pigs have a place to get their work done, make their money, and buy money. Mud, carrots, and whatever else pigs spend their money on. But I like it. So let's build the base with some darker pink. And we'll mix in some of this terracotta. Sprinkle in some of this. Some of that. I mean, we might need to workshop this a little bit more. And what better time to try out my new enchanted shears. Ah, oh, baby, these things are good. And that is a lot better. Look at this modern office building. I added in some crimson wood, some quartz, some pink plants. And this is my first time ever building in like a modern style, so I kind of like it. From far away, it kind of looks like a Valentine's Day house, which is kind of ironic because I'm currently recording this on Valentine's Day. Well, I picked the perfect day, I guess. Okay, so how should I make an office? I don't recall ever making one in Minecraft. I guess we'll just make a custom floor. And of course, Course, we gotta make some desks. How do I do that? Well, allow me to get some inspiration from today's sponsor, FlexiSpot. If you enjoy working from home or from the office of a pig city, you're gonna want a nice desk to stay organized and productive. Introducing the E7, a super stable and adjustable standing desk. When working at my old desk, I used to get super tired and uncomfortable, but my new E7 desk feels awesome. Now this E7 is actually really cool. For one, you can easily adjust the height for sitting or standing. It's completely stable, so good luck trying to make it wobble. And trust me, I tried. And my personal favorite fact, this desk can withstand up to 355 pounds on top of it. It can literally support two and a half farsies. Kids, don't try this at home. Now, this desk is also highly customizable, so if you're an indecisive person, good luck. Personally, for my desk, I chose a black frame with a dark walnut top. Side note, I feel like dark walnut would make a really cool Minecraft block. Farsi, stay focused. And last but not least, Flexi Spot has a ton of cool accessories. Things like chairs, extra storage, and even cable management. So if you're interested in this desk, make sure you use the code FARZ7 to get a great discount on it. And if you like their other products, use the code FARZ50 to get 50 bucks off your purchase. Okay, well that worked out. The pig office is complete. Now let's go collect some more of those pink blocks so we can continue with our city. On we go. So we're gonna need some pink terracotta, which should be somewhere around here. I could have sworn it spawned here naturally. Maybe I'm wrong. Are you pink terracotta? No, you're light gray. Okay, I take it back. Maybe it does not spawn here. Fine, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Hello there. Hey, I just said hello. What's your problem? Do we got anything cool down here? Just a zombie with a really cool hat. I want that hat. Okay, bye. Terracotta, check. Next up, we're gonna need a lot of pink concrete. And thanks to you guys in the comments, I learned my sand farm works with concrete powder. So this should be pretty easy. And last but not least, I need to get some more quartz. If only I could find some. I think I must have mined them all. Aha! Wait, aren't these guys part pig? Uh, I gotta get out of here. My city is not big enough for all you guys. But okay, I think we're all set in the material department. So carrying on, I dug up all the grass and replaced it with pink concrete powder. I actually got the idea when I built this LA city. Because as you can see, the ground looks really cool. I actually thought about using mud because the pigs might like it. But then I remembered we're making a classy city. No mud allowed. Well, okay, this place looks pretty good. And you might have noticed there are no more wool outlines because they were kind of in the way. But don't you worry, Farzee has the memory of a grizzly bear. That sounds like the wrong expression. Ah, you get the point. Now, staying with the fancy city theme we got going on, we're gonna build a pig bank. And inside this bank, we'll have a giant vault so all the pigs can store their prized possessions. Now, we just gotta see if I can build a good modern bank. Because as I said, I literally never build in this kind of style. So let's build these walls up. Let's barricade the windows so no burglars can break in. Ham burglars. Get it? Like ham burger? 
Hamburglar. Ah, oh, the cringe, it hurts. And let's top this bad boy off with a beautiful roof. And the verdict is absolutely sensational. Oh, wait one second. I almost forgot the most important part, the pretty flowers. There we go, much better. I wasn't really sure what to do for a door for a bank, so I kind of just made this like super secure door thing. Oh no, I'm not a banker. I'm just a Minecraft YouTuber. So if any banks are watching, don't hire me. Now we just gotta fill the bank up with a bunch of money. And when I think about money, I think about gold blocks. What do we got in here? We got three of them, but we're gonna need some more. This is a real bank, not a piggy bank. Ah, uh, ah, uh, piggy bank? Come on, guys. You can say I'm going ham on these puns today. Okay, let's get serious. I don't know if you guys knew, but up here on the nether roof, I actually have a small gold farm. So if I fly up above to the very top and I land on this piece of glass, oh, I'm so good. And we get an infinite supply of gold. Just ignore that the farm is powered on pig relatives. Those were children. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I gotta get out of here. Okay, I'm back. Let's just put this gold in here and be done with this. No, I am not still laughing at the baby pigs falling to their death. I am not laughing at that at all. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. <laughs> Putting my dark humor aside, I carried on by making a couple of small houses for the pig residents. Also, did you guys hear that they're adding cherry blossom wood to Minecraft soon? Man, I wish I could use that wood right now. It would have literally fit in so perfectly for this. Well, all right, we got two nice houses here. Nothing too crazy, but you know, just a place for the pigs to live. I also don't know if I should put doors on here. I mean, they are pigs, so they can't really use doors, but also having no doors is kind of weird and it could be drafty and you know, bug could get in. I'm probably overthinking this. But so far, I do gotta say, this thing looks really cool from far away. Like, I really, really like it. I'd rate it 9 out of 10. The only thing missing is that dang cherry blossom wood. Oh, I want to use it so bad. But before we carry on, I gotta take care of something really important. Last episode, I said if the video got 10,000 likes, I would go to the Ender Islands with no items and try and survive. And you guys absolutely smashed it. So, we have quite the challenge ahead of us. So here's how it's gonna go. We're gonna travel to the end dimension, and we're gonna go fly out about 10,000 blocks in this direction, which might take a few minutes. All right, I think right around here will suffice. And the whole point of these no item challenges is to try and get back home with none of my actual gear. So let's take off all of this stuff and put all of it into this ender chest. And let the challenge... Begin. Oh, that took so long. Okay, so how do we start here? Uh, what can I do with these things? This is food, right? Yeah, this is food. And I'm pretty sure if I eat these things, I get teleported, right? Yeah. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So I guess for now, we just wander around for a bit. Oh, okay. I see a pirate ship. And that can only mean one thing. An end city. Okay, how do I get up there? Oh, dear. All right. Ooh. Go up here, and I can't get around. So here's where I eat the fruit. Oh, I'm a genius! 10,000 IQ! Uh, about that. How do I cross this giant gap? Uh-oh. I'm just gonna have to keep running along the coast and try and find some sort of entry point somewhere. Wait, I can't craft these into blocks, right? No, dang it. That was a good thought. Come on, baby, put me on that island, please. Ugh. I already hate this challenge. Okay, there's definitely no way to get across there by land, but I do have a plan B. And it's kinda incredibly dangerous. I'm gonna try to get some ender pearls. Oh dear. So if I just carve a little safety hole in the side of this mountain, I should be able to stare at them, come inside of here, and smack them in the face, and they can't get me. All right, let's do it. Hello, look at me, look at me. Go, go, go. All right, all right. I think we cracked the code. Oh, they have so much health. Yes, and we have an ender pearl. Okay, let's do some farming. Okay, I hope four will do because that took legit like half an hour just to get those four. All right, here goes nothing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. Ah, I probably need more ender pearls here. Stupid Minecraft. Oh boy, here comes some risky business. Like that. That was risky business. And go over there, and that should be it. Are we good? We're good. Oh, oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the city. Let's go get some loot. Ooh, I kind of forgot about these guys. Oh, no, 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 
no. Okay, uh, Ender Pearl, go. Okay, I hate this. 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 Just keep eating fruit. Don't fall to your death. I just don't see how this is possible. BRB, I need more Ender Pearls. Okay, let's run through here. And I want to get myself on the roof of this building. Okay, build up a little bit. We're up here. Okay, good. <gasps> There's a chest there. Please be something good. Armor. Oh my gosh, that was so sneaky. Give me um this, this, sure. Is there anything else in there I can take? Ah, I see an ender chest, but I can't use that. Okay, if I can stockpile some more of these end rods, I might be able to build out and get a vantage point to throw this pearl. Come on, baby. Okay, okay, please, please, please hit the ship. Oh, it worked, it worked. Go, go, get inside. And we're inside the ship. Whoa, go away. You're not wanted here. No, buddy, line you. Oh. All right, guys, we got boots, we got a shovel, we got some ores, which I can't really do much with right now, but still, we got stuff, and we have the elytra. That's my ticket home. Put the helmet on, put the boots on, put the uh, yeah, elytra on, I have to. So now, if I just jump off and fly this way, I can try and find one of those beacons to get home. Aha! Yes! Oh my gosh, that was actually so close to me. We throw this in, and we are home. Let's go. Oh my gosh, guys, we did it. Get me out of this dimension and send me home. Oh, my dear Ender Chest, give me, give me, give me. But that being said, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will spawn in three withers and fight them all at once, which I still think will be easier than today's challenge. But getting back to work with the pig city, I built a local carrot shop so all the pigs have a place to buy their food. And I made some water troughs so the pigs have water. I hope none of the pigs want McDonald's because all we got is carrots. And perfecto. Well, now that the city has all the essentials like food, water, and houses, let's start bringing in some pig residents. Introducing Real Estate Farzy. I actually can't breathe with this shirt on, but whatever. I actually used to work in real estate before YouTube. But anyways, let's move out. No pun intended. Get it? Move out like real estate? I'm funny. Hello there, fine gentlemen. I got the deal of a lifetime for you. Not interested? You already have a mortgage. Okay, maybe I'm not cut out for this real estate stuff anymore. Let's try a different approach. Let's take a little visit to Pig Hill. A few months ago, I found these two adorable pigs here on Pig Hill, and I just had to name them. We got Oinkers, and we got Technoblade. Follow me, my friends. I got a new home for you. Come on, gentlemen, right this way. Single file, please. Gentlemen, please! Oh my gosh, this is actually crazy. <laughs> All right, fine. Have it your way. Jeez. But okay, make yourselves at home. No, if any of you guys are OG fans, you might remember back in the day when I made this castle, I had a pet pig that lived in there. And I think he'd make a fine addition to my city. Mr. Pig, are you home? I haven't been here in like legitimately five months, so maybe he's gone. Uh, hello? Yeah, I think he's probably gone. But have no fear, there are some more pigs in this castle. Say hello to the prisoners. This guy stole some diamonds. This guy didn't patch up his creeper holes. And this one over here? Well, he committed tax evasion. All right, all of you follow me. Oh, not this again. Everybody step right in and you guys better pay your taxes. Oh, good idea. I should totally build a pig jail. And there we go. Hopefully no one ends up in there. Hint, hint. So with the city being pretty much all done, I just want to go add some finishing touches to it. And for that, I'll need some pink wool. So let's start off by making a little bit of like a custom road going around the city. Again, this would be a great time to have some cherry blossom wood. Unfortunate timing for this build. Okay, so far so good. Oh, hello there, four of the five pig residents. Why are you all in this corner? Come on, get out of here. I made you guys an office. I made your houses? Why are you in the flowers? Maybe the pigs aren't as classy as I thought they'd be. Well, in that case, maybe the pigs would want a little bit of mud in their city. Why don't we make some muddy ponds so the pigs can frolic around and have fun? Please don't look stupid. I mean, I don't love it, but if the pigs like it, I'll accept it. As a matter of fact, it's not even that bad if we do some details like this to it. Now we'll just sprinkle some storage around the place. A few final details. And I would say the city is 100% complete. I mean, besides the part about getting every pig in Minecraft in there. Nah, I'm gonna pass on that. Sorry, random stray pigs. And don't forget, if you want to get one of those E7 desks, use the discount code FARZY7. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.